did something kind of click for you? Oh, for sure. I got this like, year. This, probably, this is my last year, actually. I just felt like, you know, my last ride, just going to give it all, give it my all, see where I go. What's the energy level like with this new coaching staff? Oh, I, energy is up top, you know. Shout out to Coach Bronco then, but, you know, for this uh, Coach L and his staff, especially with uh, Coach Downey, great coach, great guy, great dude off the field. And, um, you know, it's not even about the energy. You know, he's just a, a good person off the field, and he looks out for us. And, yeah, I mean, the whole D-line, actually, we, we, we do bring a lot of energy in the room. You know, just trying to take that that step and be the, you know, the dogs of the defense. What was the tempo like today? Ooh, tempo <laughs> was fast, especially with the heat. But, you know, it's only going to get us better. So, yeah, you seen it. <laughs> what, what made you decide to come back? Come back? Oh, so when Coach Brown got them left, you know, I decided to enter the transfer portal when we didn't have nobody in at coach. And when Coach L came down, he said he was he was, he announced that he was going to be the head coach. And I thought he was a great person and a great guy and a great coach. So I decided to come back here and play for him. How quickly after you met with him did you kind of make that decision? Yeah, it was kind of like after my meeting when he came back. Then boom, I took my name out. Are there any specific things that Coach Downing has you guys working on right now, like with the scheme change? Is there any like specific element of yeah, um, technique, anything like that? Yeah, a lot of it is just striking, trying to emphasize on, you know, being dominant in our strikes. So just, yeah, just being physical this year is a big thing for us this year. Last week, Coach Elliott had said that he challenged, challenged you a bit this offseason. What oh, were yeah. those meetings like and, and those conversations like? Oh, oh man. Me and Coach L had uh, a lot of one on one talks. Um, most of it was just, you know, just him telling me, you know, if I can, you know, take the role of being a leader and uh, and do right, not even, not just on the field, but do right in class and um, get the boys together and all that. So, yeah, he challenged me this year and um, I feel like I've been doing good. And Coach them said I've been doing good. So, yeah, we're on the right page. So like, what did that year, you mentioned you know, the growth, but what's the biggest difference in you? Um, today, I feel like just going in today and in the spring, it, it, I'm not taking nothing for granted. So, like, just like if I can, I'm trying to go as hard as I can, you know what I'm saying, and just like really put my, my best foot forward. I mean, I know film is really, really important for me. Um, the eye and the sky don't lie. So it's like every time I get a chance to get a snap or whatever, I'm trying to, I'm thinking about little stuff, little details, like to push myself, like, all right, I know this is going to be on film. So let me, let me do what I got to do, you know what I'm saying? Go as hard as I can, get my depth, you know, no, don't fall step, just all those small things like that. But, um, and, and like looking from the outside in last year, I was like, it made me appreciate like the leaders on the team, yeah. and um, and I'm trying to be one of those leaders, you know what I'm saying? And like when things are going bad, try to, even though it's hard, but you know, try to pump positivity out, you know, try to like let's keep going, guys. Like we got this, you know, just little small stuff like that. Um, just looking outside in, cause you know, like me coming in when I started playing as a freshman, I was just like worrying about like. Let me do my part. I'm just focusing on myself and make these plays, this and that. But like, it's, it's bigger than me. It's, it's more, it's, you know, it's a team. So I guess like that, that kind of switched and just like not taking any reps for granted. Um, for, like every single play, every single rep, you know, just, just really being, being hard on myself and worry about the details of, of every rep. So. I heard Jackpot gave you a pep talk back when you got hurt. Have you gotten another one from Jackpot? And what is that? What was that kind of talk like? And just, yeah. you know, what is it, that relationship that you have, not just with Coach Higgins, but the family and the entire wide receiver room, how did that help you over the last year? Um, Yeah, like, Jagapod, Christopher, like, Miss um, Ms. Lauren, like, we all got close um, over this year. Like, they're, you know, they're a real, they're a real life family, you know. Um, we talk, we talking every other day, they checking on me. And Jagapod, he reminds me a lot of myself in a way. Cause he's really wild, like, he, and he gonna say what he, what he feel. He gonna say how, like, just how he feel in general and everything. So, 
Um, he didn't give me a pep talk today, but um, he just always be telling me, you know, go hard, you know what I'm saying, and, and have fun with the game, you know, have fun a lot. So that's the main thing. I was just really enjoying it with my teammates today. Like, even the challenges, even the struggles, like, I'm enjoying having practice, you know what I'm saying? Like, really love the game. Um, but yeah, this 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 fall camp is gonna be it's gonna be great. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be really good. So how how was today? Just you know, getting back after it with everybody. Um, today was great. Um, it was it was hard. You know, it was challenges and everything, but we got through it. You know, um, you know, football. You know, it, it's, it's ups and downs and stuff like that. Like, you know, some plays I feel like I I should have got out there today, but but um, but it was just good to get through the day. You know what I'm saying? Finish the day out strong. And really, like, the main thing, like, my leg got through it. You know what I'm saying? I really pushed myself to, as hard as I can. Um, and my leg, it, it held up, man, and it was great. So that's all I can say. You know, I'm, I'm really happy and thankful to be back out there, thankful to be in shape, you know, great running routes full of speed and everything like that, and no worries or anything. So I remember, it, was, it was a sorry. good day. I remember when uh, when Coach Elliott was hired, you were all fired up. You had known him previously. Now that you're playing for him, what uh, what do you think of him as a coach? Oh, he's a great coach. You know what I'm saying? He like I like coaches who who are hard on me. I don't like sh like sugarcoating. I don't like you know coaches who just be like whatever. Yes, man. You know I don't like that type of coach. I like the coach that's gonna tell you what you might not want to hear. You know what I'm saying? Who's gonna light a fire under you? Who's gonna tell you the real? You know what I'm saying? Like and Coach Higgins and, and Coach Elliott are sim are like. They're, they're just like that, and this this was a good situation, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, Coach Elliott, he come from South Carolina, he come from my area, so he kind of know, like, how it is back home and everything. Um, and he just been around so many great receivers, you know what I'm saying? I'm a receiver, so of course, like, I'm trying to soak everything in, um, not taking that personal, you know what I'm saying? You know, just just taking the, the hard coach and, and um, really giving it all I got. about the pace? You guys are running a pretty quick pace out there. Oh yeah, it's up pace, up tempo, but um, we like to control it as well. So uh, it's uh, it's uh, definitely gets gets it out of you, especially in the heat. Um, but it'll only make us better and only make us, you know, make the game ten times easier uh, when we're out there struggling at practice. You know, in the in the stadium, it's way easier. How much does coach encourage like the student athletes to take a leadership role, and how difficult is that with it being? a new staff and you're mm -hmm. like it's much easier obviously if you've been in a program for three years right. you kind of know where the drills are going but how much is he putting onto the players as this vocal leadership and practice mm -hmm. um it's not really as much as forcing it on us it's more of just saying leaders need to step up yeah. and if you're a leader just step up there's no like you better step up it's just like just step up because we need it um because you need leaders uh we need to lead from the locker room to the top to the coaching staff and um you know, when coach uh, emphasized leadership and uh, being vocal, it doesn't mean you have to, you know, go yelling around all practice. But, you know, if you see a guy struggling, pick him up. You need to see a guy struggling with the plays, help him out. Um, I, I believe Coach E, he knows uh, a, lot of sh a lot of leadership isn't even seen. Um, the only part that's seen is the, the real, really vocal part on the field. Uh, but he knows who who's that type of leader and what type of leader each player is, so he just emphasizes. You know, we need we just need the leadership. How would you describe the overall? And I hate to use the word vibe, but mm -hmm. the vibe of practice today. He said everyone was really excited and eager to get out there. But what? How would you kind of describe the energy, the you know approach to today's mm -hmm. first fall camp practice? Oh, I thought the energy was great. Um, it was everybody was excited, uh, you know, jumping around, flying around. And I, I, I'm very excited because it was only the first day. Um, you know, everybody's you know, tough on ourselves. It's always worse than you think it. They, well, it's all you always think it's worse than it actually is until you watch it back on film. You know, talk to your coach because um, you know it's hot. You think you're all at, running all sluggish and stuff, but it's never actually as bad as you really you think it is. So I think um, if we come with the same energy every day, the sky's the limit. Running back job was wide open. What do you have to do to win it? Um, be consistent. That's it. Just just consistently stacking days on top of each other. That's it. Um, and if I do that, I believe I can, you know, with my talent, at least lead the room. Um, you know, also being a leader also plays that plays into that. Um, and yeah, I think consistency and leadership 
is the way to the top. I know Coach Elliott has challenged you a few times. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like he sees some of that leadership in you mm -hmm. and, and he's trying to kind of spark you? Um, yeah, I just think he's uh, he, he sees the potential um, and he acknowledges the potential and he won't let me settle um, until I, you know, like he says, empty the tank. Um, he loves to tell me to empty the tank because he said if I, you know, empty the tank, I can, that's how you reach your true potential. You never want to, you know, take a, take a talent or a gift, a blessing for granted. Um, and yeah, I, I appreciate that from him. I was going to ask, you like having a coach who challenges you like that? Oh, for sure. Um, you never, you don't grow with if you're not challenged or if you're not, if you're not uncomfortable every day. Um, and I, I believe uh, he, he has a good balance of, you know, pushing, um, loving, leading, and, and um, you know, coaching, directing, everything is it's kind of, it's a good mesh, good balance. Um, and I appreciate it. Uh, I love being pushed. I love being coached because it only makes you better. Um, and yeah, I, I do appreciate having a coach like Coach E.